Um, the, I'm going to read just two pieces. And the first one is called What My Darkness Tells Me. These woods inside myself are never quiet as the sun goes down. The squawks and hoos of many birds don't wish for the evening coming on or night that follows. And other animals grunt, croak, hiss their disapproval too. Oh, how we love the day. We could see far, even among these thickets, tangled leaves that fracture the light from the sky. But with the sun so bright, it didn't matter. Not now. Night is their pall. Something whose eyes can part the dark is waiting, watching, knife claws ready, ravenous to rip their flesh, gulp blood, wolf down each fur and feather, swallow them whole. So they must make no noise, scamper, flit, alert from place to place, among low bushes on branches that may crack and fall as they try to cringe from sight, until, by chance, some tree not known to them calls out, come, over here, over here, huddle around me, I'll be your cover. My bulk, my limbs, my leaves will fight the night. This way, this way, if you can find me. Here you may sleep, no peace, be awake by morning. Beautiful. And this next one is about relationships, which I write a lot about, and some work out and some don't. And oh no, here, we get the rest. here we go. It's called At the Ball. I see you pause with lightning in your eyes at the top of the long staircase where you begin to descend slowly in your shimmering gold brocaded gown its train flowing liquidly behind. Your smile always at a ready to kiss each gentleman as he mingles in the room below. While I wait, mere husband, in my pressed tux, pomaded hair, at the bottom of the stairs, somehow smiling too, ready to take your hand, walk you across the floor, to the bar, no doubt. <laughs> to the bar, I hope. And as I see beneath your hem the tip, tips of these golden shoes that step so lightly now, I think back how early this evening in our hotel suite you hurled one shoe at me, kept spitting venom from your lips like a trapped snake curled up with fury as I, wallowing in a tizzy of stupidity, kept bellowing back, what? What? Thank you for listening. <laughs>